Hello everyone, welcome to next Selenium training video session tutorial. And in this session, we are going to focus on security testing using Zap. We had seen passive scanning in the past and the topic for this session is active scanning. I'm going to link the previous training session tutorial in the description of this video. So if you have not watched that and if you do not know what Zap is, then you can have a look at that first and then come back here. So let's see what uh, active scanning is and how we can carry out active scanning uh, while using Selenium to do functional testing of the application. Well, we had seen in the previous session about passive scanning wherein the uh, request and responses uh, to an application are not modified. They are just passively scanned to find out if some security headers are missing and so on. In contrast to that, active scanning is all about modifying the request and responses uh, to the target application that is to subject the application to some of the known attack vectors to find out whether for example application is vulnerable to uh, cross-site scripting attacks and so on so this is known as active scanning if you are using a standalone zap tool then you can also do this uh, using zap desktop application but here we are going to use java and selenium web driver to carry out active scanning so let's open the selenium project which we have been using so far and this project is available on github on my account and i'm going to link that too on the description of this video what i have done here is i have created another test method known as active scan home page we were using juice shop in past to to carry out uh, security testing against this application juice shop is again an application which is vulnerable is available from OWASP and you know it can be used uh, without having any consideration about well, whether we can use this application or not so be sure that whenever you carry out security testing you do security testing only against the application to which you have permission to if not then please do not do that now what this method does is this method well it invokes the juice shop application using very simple API call get from driver uh, object and then it performs the active scan let's see what we have on active scan method now active scan method takes the target url and thus this initiate something called active scanning and the api format for that is client api which we have declared earlier which is nothing but the client api for uh, zap which takes the IP address on which Zap has started the port, which is 8080 and API key. I'm not using any API key here, which is why it is null. Then it takes a scan, which is nothing active scan, and then scan. And the scan method has many parameters here. So what we are going to use here is the target URL, that is the URL against which active scan is going to be carried out recursive. That is, if a scan is to be performed recursively against the target url then in scope only which is to carry out the test only against the urls in scope then we have a scan policy name i have marked as null method null and post data also null maybe we see the method scan policy name and post data in the future sessions scan policy name since it is specified as null so the default policy is used and then what we have to do is we have to well in some way make sure that you know the scan is over which is why we have to run something called a polling here how we do that we get the scan id from the api response and using this scan id we find out how much progress we have reached which is on line number 82 and as soon as this progress is not less than 100 which is we have reached all of the scan target we just exit this loop and it means active scanning is over after this what happens is we call an api call check risk count which we have seen in past session also so check risk count is going to filter what all results we have got as part of the scanning and then going to get us the overall risk count in terms of high medium low and informational risk and if risk count is well not zero then we are going to mark our test as failure so let's run this okay looks like juice shop application is down now but no worry i'm going to abort this run and i'm going to show you the results which i have from one of the previous run which i did 
a while ago so yes this was one of the active scan run and uh, which of obviously failed because juice shop is derived to have some security bugs and the scan report is available in the target folder so i will go to my project target session this is the report uh, the report i have is the past report so i would show it to you on my browser in a while yeah so this is the report wherein we have zero high risk alerts five medium alerts five low level alerts and 11 informational alerts and then we have all the data about what kind of errors or the alerts which we have detailed on this report uh, you also would find out that the report has got some urls which we are not really wanting to subject to security testing but they are anyways scanned by the active scanner and if you do not want to have this in the uh, report then there is a way to get rid of this and this is a homework for you so the to do for this session is you know to filter out all of the domains which are not required for security testing and not have them here at all the better approach would be to not consider them for uh, testing at all so they would not appear on the report also so this is a to do please have a look at this and find out how you can carry it out if you leave a note when you find a solution then that would also help others um, in achieving this to do so if you find the solution just leave a comment on this video and give a hint to others this is all for this session so i hope you enjoy this session it's, it's quite a small session but i still hope that you find something useful and if so then please hit the like button see you on next session till then bye bye